Here's a question for you. What do Kaposi sarcoma, salmonella infection, invasive cervical cancer and tuberculosis have in common? These are all AIDS-defining conditions. However, let's start from the beginning. What is HIV and AIDS and how is it relevant to the field of haematology? In this and the next few videos, we will try to answer these questions in more detail. The human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, originated in chimpanzees and the sooty manga bay in Africa. The first clinical manifestation of HIV and AIDS, held in the HIV pandemic, was the development of pneumocystis gyrovesi pneumonia and Kaposi sarcoma in previously healthy men who had sex with men in the United States in 1981. Eventually, other modes of transmission were identified, including bloodborne, for example, via blood transfusion, tattoos and needles, as well as from mother to child. Globally, 39 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2022, the majority residing in the developing nations of sub-Saharan Africa. The prevalence of HIV continues to increase from ongoing new infections and the shrinking mortality of those already infected and on antiretroviral treatment. Primary HIV infection can present without symptoms or as a febrile illness with headache, pharyngitis, diarrhea, rash and enlarged lymph nodes. Diagnosis is often delayed, however, and patients are later identified in the chronic asymptomatic phase of infection by a routine screening. Later still, some are diagnosed only when opportunistic infections settle in which might be another 8 to 10 years from transmission. To infect most cells, HIV must bind to the CD4 receptor on one of two major co-receptors, CCR5 or CXCR4, expressed on T lymphocytes. In many HIV-infected patients, the virus ultimately induces a state of chronic immune activation, leading to T cell exhaustion and depletion, tissue fibrosis and immune failure. The end result is alarmingly high rates of opportunistic infections and malignancies. Haematologists and oncologists often see HIV patients in their practice. Despite the use of ART, the risk of AIDS and non-AIDS defining cancers among HIV infected patients is approximately double that of their HIV uninfected counterparts. In the ART era, these malignancies represent the leading cause of death in patients living with HIV. Some of these include HIV-associated diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, Hodgkin lymphoma and Castleman disease. In the next video, we will discuss these and other hematological manifestations of HIV-AIDS. Stay tuned.